Cruise cabins are definitely small and compact. So in this video, I'm going through 10 cruise cabin hacks to make your cabin feel much more organized and spacious on your cruise. I'm Ilana from the website and blog Life All Cruised, where we help thousands of cruisers a month get ready for their cruise with our cruise travel tips. Now, in today's video, what I'm going to be doing is going over 10 helpful tips for you to stay organized in your cruise cabin and help it feel, well, just bigger and a little bit more spacious and, well, functioning a little bit better for your cruise. Now, if you do like this video, I really appreciate it. If you can give it a thumbs up, let me know that you find this helpful. And as well, please leave a comment if you've organized your cruise cabin and you have some extra tips, some hacks, that would be great. Please leave them for others below and consider subscribing if you do like cruise content like this. So whether this is your first cruise or you've cruised before, I think we're all aware that cruise cabins are really kind of small and they're compact. So not at all like a hotel room. So we really do have to kind of keep ourselves organized um, so that things feel more spacious during our cruise, especially if we're in the smaller cabins like the inside cabins or the ocean view cabins or even the balcony cabins in some cases, can feel a little tight, especially if we're more than two people in the cabin. So these are some tips that I've used and that I've also picked up from other people that I think are really super helpful. So the first thing is, is try not to bring too much stuff. Now I'm actually an overpacker and I'm trying to work on it. Each cruise I'm a little bit better, but I do bring too much stuff. And that's probably the biggest problem is where to put it all. Consider bringing packing cubes because the nice thing about packing cubes is you can actually um, like keep things in these little compartments and then you can put them on the shelves. So that can be really helpful or in the drawers. So just in terms of keeping your space organized once you're um, in your cabin is consider those packing cubes. I know I am, I'm gonna give it a try again. I tried it last time, didn't work for me, but I am gonna try again and see if I can be a little bit more efficient. Tip number two, so start making some extra space as soon as you get into that cruise cabin. Now we like to actually unpack kind of almost as soon as we can. Usually we unpack just before mustard drill. We can do it all in about 30 to 45 minutes if my husband and I kind of split it up between both of us. But a tip is to get some extra hangers. Ask your cabin attendant when you see him or her to bring you some extra hangers. They'll bring you 15, 20, 25, the amount that you need. And what you can do then is you can hang up more things. I just find it's a little easier to keep organized if I do that and things don't wrinkle as much. So I like that. Um, so another little tip is to hang up your dresses. Like if you have spaghetti strap style dresses, you can even hang up a couple at a time um, on the same hook. You can hang up like your tank tops and stuff like that or your flowy blouses, a couple um, on the same. Another thing that you'll wanna do is get those suitcases out of the way. So as soon as you're unpacked, try putting one suitcase into the other if they do fit and just get that under the bed. Now, if you can't put it under the bed yourself, the cabin attendant, if you ask them, will be happy to help you out with that and put that under your bed. But try to get all of your luggage stored away so that you don't have that next to your bed or maybe standing up in your closet area taking up space. Tip number three, one of the ways you can also keep organized is try to keep everything on the walls of the cabin rather than um, you know inside the cupboard or inside shelves when the space is really limited. So hanging things up on the walls is helpful. And the way that you can do this is usually there'll be actually only a couple of extra hooks right near the door uh, to hang a couple things. And once you already have maybe your bathrobes hanging there, there's not a lot of extra room. So what a lot of people like to do because the cabin walls are metal is bring magnetic hooks. Now I do have to tell you the magnetic hooks that you bring do have to actually be a pretty heavy duty um, uh, kind. And the reason for that is if you want to hang a backpack or even a sweater and a baseball cap, it does get a little heavy. So you'll want to bring the ones that are good quality and you can find that on Amazon. I'm going to leave a link down below in the description in case you do want to get that. And those are super handy though, because you can hang up baseball caps, sweaters, uh, a backpack, a shore excursion bag. We like to actually keep a shore excursion bag that's already pre-packed with some of the main things we need because it also saves us time later on in the cruise. 
Number four, try clearing away that cruise cabin clutter that is there before you even settled into your cabin. And what I mean by this is when you get into your cabin, there are going to be some things that are already there uh, that kind of you may not need. So some of the things might be wine glasses. If you're not going to be using the wine glasses, you can ask the cabin attendant to remove that. There may be an ice bucket. There may be some magazines and stuff that are left on the uh, the desk. And if you don't want those things there, if you don't need those things there, ask the cabin attendant to remove them or you can simply remove them and maybe put them under the desk or somewhere where you're not going to use the space. But get that kind of stuff out of there. Something else that we like to do is ask the cabin attendant at his convenience to please remove all of the items from the fridge. We know that we don't want to buy anything from the, um, the sort of mini fridge items that are going to be a little bit overpriced. We don't need it. The food that's included in the ship is fine for us. Um, so we actually asked for that to be removed. And then this way, if we brought our own water bottles, we can put that inside. If we maybe when our kids were young, we used to sometimes pick up a couple of cartons of milk um, from the buffet in the morning time. And if our kids liked some milk later on in the day, we'd have that in the fridge. So basically that's what we kind of use the space in our fridge for. If anything, maybe a bottle of wine or something like that. But otherwise we didn't keep any anything um, that was already there in the fridge. Number five, bathroom shelves tend to be a little bit small and you know especially a lot of the older ships the bathroom space just wasn't that well organized so what a lot of people like to do is actually bring an over the door organizer and this over the door organizer kind of like the one that you can like a plastic one or a mesh one where you can put shoes what a lot of people like to do is put their different items so their sunscreen their calamine lotion different products uh, different things your children might need all of that in there and i have a little bit of a tip that one of my friends uses what she does is she pre-packs this in advance and then she actually puts it in her suitcase so that when she does get in the cruise cabin it's actually packed and it's ready to hang up so it's really a time saver another thing you might want to consider is for your toiletry bag there are some that are actually um really quite nice and quite handy that you can actually hang on the hook right in the bathroom and that can free up the space on the shelves as well. I will leave both of those items in the description in case you do wanna look. These are links from Amazon, but those are really some handy things in case you are interested. Number six. So another tip that I have, and this is probably for the ladies, but is to turn that desk that you'll have in your cruise cabin into your vanity. And what I mean by this is that you can use the small drawers that are in the desk area. They're usually pretty small and don't hold, um, don't have a lot of room for a lot of things, but they're a great spot to keep your makeup. Uh, they could also keep your hairbrush, your curling wand, your small hair dryer, your straightener, all of the things that you use. Maybe you have a couple of, you know, clutches or wristlets or things like that. Maybe you have some costume jewelry. So use those two or three drawers or shelf spaces for yourself and make that desk your own vanity with your chair and have that space all to yourself. Number seven. Now, cruise cabins are notorious for just not having enough plugs. Now, I have to say we were on a cruise recently and there were actually some USB outlets right next to the bed and there was a USB outlet right at the vanity and there was an extra plug. So that was a little bit better than we've seen in the past. But most of the time we actually see two We've even seen one plug before in a cruise. So you really are likely to need something to bring, basically give you some extra plug space, some extra USB space. So what I like to do is bring a cruise approved power bar. Now you can't bring the kind of power bar that you may use at home, like in your TV room or anything like that, because it is usually surge protected. So those are not cruise approved and those can be and will be confiscated if you bring that onto a cruise. So I will link below the kind that you are able to bring. But basically what you can do is bring something that has some extra plugs, some extra USBs, because if you do think that you're gonna maybe be charging several different items, that is really something handy you to have on a cruise. Number eight, try to keep your papers organized and your important papers especially. And what I mean by that is that you'll have maybe some documents that you brought because you might have booked some excursions separately. So you'll want to have those papers and you'll have other papers as well. You might have some invitations to a couple of things 
on the cruise. So one of the ways that you can keep these things organized is you can bring some legal size or some larger size envelopes and you could keep things in there. And this way you can kind of just even put them sometimes into the mirror. There's a little spot that you can slide them there or just put them at the back um, or even in the top drawer. Sometimes there's a small flat drawer. So you can keep those important papers there. And another way that you can keep those papers organized is the same way that you can buy those heavy duty hooks to hang up your backpack and your baseball caps and things like that is that you can buy small little um, magnetic clips. And those are really handy because those little clips, and you don't need anything very heavy duty because if you're just using it for papers and stuff, they're not gonna be very heavy. You might be able to find these at the dollar store and otherwise on Amazon. And they're just super handy for your little um, your little tickets um, that when you buy your excursions, even from the cruise ship that are gonna come in a little envelope, you just don't wanna lose anything. So definitely bring something to keep those papers organized. Number 10, these are some things that people have told us that they really find very helpful on their cruise to make themselves more comfortable in the cruise cabin. So one of the things is something to bring a little bit of light into the cabin. Now, especially if you are in an inside cabin, you will not have any light um, during the day or during the night. So when you wake up during the night or even in the morning time, you may not be able to see anything. You won't be able to see anything. There's zero light that is coming in. So one of the things that somebody told me that they do that I think is a great idea is to bring a little uh, battery powered votive candle. So of course it wouldn't be a votive candle that is a real one because that would be a fire hazard, but they sell at the dollar store and elsewhere little votive candles that um, that will just light up and become a bit of a nightlight. And of course you can also bring a nightlight, but remember that plugs are limited in a cabin. So which is why I do suggest the battery powered one. The tip that we've used for honestly for 15 years has been that we leave the cabin door, um, the bathroom cabin door open just a little bit when we go to bed. And this way we know how to get to the bathroom if we need to, and it gives us a little bit of light. Other people leave the TV on, and sometimes you can find a channel that is the bridge cam, which is really, really nice. So you can actually have the front of the ship and you can leave that on throughout the night. And then in the morning time when the sun comes up, you might be able to see that. So those are some tips that we've used and that other people have used to make their cruise cabin more comfortable. Um, you might find that the cabin is very warm. Sometimes people find that they need a little bit more of a breeze in the cabin. So something to consider is bringing a portable fan. Those are also available with batteries. I'll leave the link down below as well, but that's something really handy. And thirdly is a digital clock. Now, sometimes people find that rather than looking at their phone and pressing the button and seeing the time, that they prefer knowing what time it is, especially again, if you like to sleep um, with your curtains drawn all the way to not let the light in, or if you have an inside cabin and you cannot see the time, you really honestly don't know what time it is. So that digital clock, like a simple one, that's like $10 or less or whatever, that's something really handy to have on a cruise just to feel more comfortable in the cabin. So I hope that these 10 tips to organize your cruise cabin have been helpful as you get ready for your cruise. If you did like this video, I really appreciate it. If you can give it a thumbs up, let me know also in the comments below when your cruise is, what type of cabin do you have? Do you have any tips to add? I really do appreciate it. And of course, if you do like this type of content, please consider subscribing to the channel, Life While Cruised. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified when the next video comes out, which we do upload a new video every week. Now I'm on Facebook and I'm also on Instagram and I'd love to connect with you there. Happy cruising.